Actually, this time we're gonna use uh, the the blighted bullets. See if that works. Hit that guy once. Okay, that works too. So there's no bug like that. Oh, and they all died. Damn. That felt pretty satisfying. So before we actually take a look at what the gun does, let's just admire the aesthetics of this gun. Just like all the other guns in this game, I think they really nailed it with the artwork. Like, I think they look really, really cool. Sadly, we can only see one now and not two, since it actually is uh, dual wielding, which I am a big fan of. But yeah, it looks really, really solid. So if we first take a look at the three weapon bonuses this one has. So armor piercing, status power, and close range damage. Really nice to have close range damage on this one, since we definitely want to use this close range. And these three can of course be random and legendary have three weapon bonuses while epics have only one so that's a huge thing with legendaries if we take a look at the tier 3 mod which is judgments enforcer shots mark enemies and when reloading deal five times your weapon damage to every marked enemy marks are removed when you change your weapon so you basically just want to attack as many targets as possible get them to maybe half hp and then reload and you will trigger huge damage we will see how this one will work but it sounds really really fun and actually really cool and the second mod is a tier one mod which is called clip combustion reloading weapon creates a shock wave dealing 25 damage to enemies within a five meter radius and yeah you can see this is great synergy for the first one so when you reload you just do damage in a five meter AOE radius. But with all that said, let's just see how this one actually work out. I'm pretty excited to test this one actually. And as you can see here, it looks pretty damn dope. I'm a big fan of dual wielding, so having two pistols, it's pretty amazing. I wish you could do that with the revolver though. Since the pistols are full auto, you just hold the button and it just shoots like that. And there you could see the reload animation. Okay, so we hit this once. 8 damage and it should be 5 times that if we reload which I mean yeah that, that won't seem to be that if we do it again okay always 73 so 8 times 5 that would be 40 that's not the calculation so it is your actual weapon so just need to hit them all here and then we reload and they all actually explode Hit that one, hit that one, I'll hit one. Okay, it actually does pretty good damage. Actually, this time we're gonna use uh, the, the blighted bullets, see if that works. Hit that guy once. Okay, that works too, so there's no bug like that. Oh, and they all died. Damn. That felt pretty satisfying. Yeah, that is a pretty cool one. Damn. And that's without, like, looking at the shockwave. Let's just see how much the shockwave does. So I'm just gonna reload. We're we just gonna run in... Eh, let's just do it here, yeah. So 23 damage to your marksman. Try to mark as much as possible. Well, there was a lot of ass that died there. Wonder if it have a range limit. Nope, doesn't seem to have a range limit. We did do less damage on the captain. Which, I mean, is pretty expected. Then we reload. That was not enough. Here we got him. But yeah, it, it works as intended and it, it works pretty good. It does a lot of damage, so I think definitely this one will be fun, especially if you put this mod on another gun. Like now we have the pistols and they do shoot pretty fast, 750 RPM. But I mean ISMG 850 with a bigger clip size as well, so yeah, I don't think it's too bad on a pistol, though. You shoot really fast on a pistol. 
But it's five times the weapon damage. I mean, if you would put that on a sniper, you hit it once and then you reload, you do five times the damage. Like, I'm, imagine having this on a sniper or a rifle, the damage would actually be crazy. Downside with a sniper, of course, is that you can't hit that many targets. But if you have a rifle, if they don't get one shot, it may be higher wall tear. You could do a lot of damage just by hitting every single one in the head. And if they didn't die from that because they're super tanky, you reload and bam, five times the damage, which, I mean, should be pretty insane. But that should be everything about the Torment and Agony. A pretty fun pistol. Looks really cool. I love the dual wielding. I would definitely recommend to check this out. I have made two other legendary weapon videos about the legendary sniper bolt action called Iceberg. Also the Assault Rifle Thunderbird. So if you want to check that out, you can find that on my channel. I also have some more Outriders videos like reviews and news and all that. So if you are interested in more Outriders videos like this, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. I also do stream live on twitch.tv slash So with that said, I catch you guys on the stream or in the next video.